Welcome to this video on working in the tax returns band in Central Console. From here you can view and process all the requirements for the tax records for the entity you've selected. I'm currently displaying just the client sort name in the filter area, but by clicking on the filter icon I could change this to code, which displays the client code and sort name, or to IRD number, which I'll show here which then displays the IRD number and the sort name. The tax year type box over on the right hand side defaults to the latest year with the tax matter, but the required tax year and return type can be selected using the drop down arrow at the side. Down the left hand side we have a range of options available to be able to work with. Return selection displays a list of years and return types and right clicking on a selected year brings up a number of options to create, delete and open returns. This is based on the entity type and the current activity for the particular year. We also get an option here to print a set of reports for this return. So after the return has been selected if I come down to return info, it then displays key information about that return. It has two editable fields here at the bottom to indicate yes no options for L letter and D status, which is visible in the 901 results grid for filtering choices. The assessment page, so I'll click on now becomes active once a tax notice has been sent through by IRD via e-file. So assessed information can be updated here, as can the return status, notes information, if I just pull this up slightly, we can also access the tax notice from down here. If an IR10 was applicable, clicking on it here I'd be able to view the information from the IR10. The family group summary down the side here is a viewable and printable report showing tax return data for all members of the selected family group. The ledger page displays ledger information for the selected year and allows transactional entry. So I could enter things with a right click on there to insert the transaction. Below ledger is documents which is a link to the document store and below that IRD website. So this allows the user to directly access the My IR page for the selected client based on their own IR credentials. So when you access it for the first time you'll need to put your own credentials in there after that it will take you in directly. And finally we have a custom view at the top here. And this allows the user to tailor their own preferences so that they can see key information in one window. If I click on it now I have a blank page as no custom view has been defined. So I click on design in the toolbar and then I can drag on what I want to see in there. So it might be return selection, return info and ledger details I'm going to put at the bottom. So I'll save that and close it and then that's the view I see in my custom view.